from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, time once again for The Horse's Mouth here at Tommy Max, of course, at my bar, brought to you by our good friends at Dasher and the law offices of Terrell Hogan. It's Campos Corner this time around, and we're going to talk Jacksonville Film Festival. Let's welcome in the panel right now. Coach Campo, how are you, my man? I'm good, Tom. How What's you your doing? favorite film of all time? Do you have one? Uh, Very you know Casablanca. <laughs> Draft day. Boy, you're, going, the wind. you're going, you're going, you're going, you're going <laughs> way back <laughs> on that one. I'm not quite that old. Oh, you know you what I mean? Look, uh, it's a good movie, though, Coach. I mean, great movie. Great movie. American Graffiti. Oh, oh going, that's, that's, that's a solid pick. Back. That's a good It's a really good pick. That's a classic. That's actually my favorite Lucas film. I'm not going Yeah. Tim Driscoll, how are you? Program director. Yes, sir. Jacksonville Film Festival. What year is it this year for That the is a good question. So it, it's a little bit of a hybrid thing. So Jacksonville yeah. Film Festival originally started in about 2002, 2004. Okay. And then it went on a little bit of a break from like 2012 to 18. Okay. And that's when myself and our team took over. So for us, it's okay. six years, five uh, events, because COVID okay. decided things shouldn't happen. Right. And so for us, it's our fifth event, sixth okay. year of running it for us. Are you from Jacksonville? I am from born and raised in Jacksonville. Where'd yes, you, sir. Where did you do your school? Uh, so I, went, I was homeschooled for a long time, okay. which is great. Uh, How about the Though, we like lots of people. So I actually I went to film school at Florida State. That's oh, where did. I went. Yeah. Right. So uh, I'm, a, I'm a Noel Seminole now, and okay. uh, I didn't grow up a Seminole fan, which was weird to go to Florida State because I grew up a Gator fan. It was back in the you know, Danny okay. Werfel days yeah, when right, I grew up. Right. So. So are you a cinematographer? Or no, so I, uh, in my professionally, I am a uh, director and producer for okay. mostly branded content. Yeah, so cool. that is my day job. And then I just love movies so much that I was like, you know what I should do? Give all my free time to watching <laughs> other people's movies and putting on events. And he's cool. a Cool. And he's a big NFL fan. Yeah, Huge on I, like yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, my, my parents are from the Northeast, so I grew up you know, watching the, the Giants, and I was a Jerry Rice fan, so okay. I was cheer for the Niners when I was a kid. Sure, yeah, and yeah. then uh, as I got a little bit older, I was like, why am I cheering for teams that aren't where I live? So right. I've been a, a diehard Duval Till I Die Jaguar fan for just 10, That's 12 awesome. years now. Well, so, yeah. Hopefully you, uh, with the Josh Allen signing. Oh, hey, that was, that was great. Again. That was great. I loved yeah. it. Good stuff, no doubt about Absolutely. it. All right, so 96 films? Some, yes, some 98 films. Films, mostly short films. Short films. No, no, okay. absolutely. Uh, yeah. We have yeah, we have six total feature length films, okay. and then the rest will be short films from all over the world. So uh, we do have a block dedicated to our local filmmakers. Okay. We love our local filmmakers. So it's a Jacksonville film block. It'll be on Sunday, the last block of cool. our whole festival. Oh, cool. Uh, we're very excited about that. We have yep. a block dedicated to Florida filmmakers, so people who aren't just from Jacksonville. Yep. And then after that, we have stuff that comes from Iran. It comes from Egypt. It comes from France, Italy. Wow. So truly international, a, yeah, tremendous a, work, okay. and yeah. stuff yeah. is played at like Cannes Film Festival in Venice and all the other majors. So. Yeah. That is cool. Really good stuff. Where are we, like Florida Theater, like where are they being? Great question. Where, where, so we're where they... playing at the, so opening night will be at the WJCT. That'll okay. be an opening night film, just one night, one film, one night party uh, beforehand, afterwards. Cool. Then Saturday and Sunday, it's all day. It'll be at the Jesse, uh, the DuPont uh, Center, and okay. then uh, at the library. Okay. So there's a screening room right off Main Street. So yeah. if you go in the main entrance from yeah. Laura, walk to the back of the building. Yeah. If you go from, the, if, if you enter from Main Street, you can, or from, uh, from Main Street, you can come in the back door. And then we have blocks at both places all weekend long. Were you an actor growing up? Like, I was a little bit. I, yeah, I I started off actually as a, as a dancer. I had a friend who, his, okay. he had sisters who danced. And he was like, hey, one of the teachers yep. uh, will do a hip hop class if we get all boys. And I was like, okay. sure. Yeah. And so yeah, I started yeah. doing that and yeah. was involved in theater and just loved performing. And yeah. uh, Musical theater? I, you know, I would have liked to have done musical theater. It's yeah. the audience that didn't care for the singing so much. So <laughs> the fewer. So you're not a triple threat. Fewer, fewer opportunities. Yeah, yeah, I was. Well, so close. Threat. So close. Two and a half. Two and a half yeah, threats. But no singing. No, yeah. just no singing. So yeah, a lot, a lot of background. Like, hey, just mouth it. Can you just mouth the words from back there? I know about the jargon because I have three daughters and they all dance. Yes, for sure. So I know about the theater and all. Oh yeah, it was great. I I played a lot of sports and actually initially I I said yes to dance because I was playing sports as a kid and I read that like. Chris Carter and Jerry Rice done like yoga ballet and ballet, and, and I was like, golf, I'll be a better ballet. football player. I'll yeah. become pro. Yeah, I, is, I had a better chance as a dancer being yeah. pro than yeah. <laughs> playing football. This is great because you know my background. You yeah. know, I was into yeah. that a little bit, and I right. was in three musicals in high school. And yep. Terrific. Anything goes, My Fair Lady in South Pacific. <laughs> okay, so you could you could sing. Uh, listen, I could sing. Okay, you, okay. I could sing. <laughs> that's, that's great. I, listen, I'm, I'm kind of kind of split personality I, between I athletics think, and 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 entertainment. Do you sing around the house like? You always just kind of humming and no, singing. Stuff. No, no, but no. I have a couple of videos that oh, from yeah. back in the day. No, so where's go on every once Where's going the show? Out. Yeah, we got a. Absolutely. It's a sequel to this. We got to do a sequel. All right, when it starts tonight? It starts Friday night. Friday, Friday night. night. Okay. We give all 
Well, so we got 12th, 13th, 14th, okay. Friday night, WJCT. We still have tickets available, but not a lot for okay. opening night. Again, parties involved with that, too. Yep. Saturday, lots of blocks, lots of stuff. Okay. Uh, check us up on the website, jacksfilmfest.com. Cool. We do have a link there. We call it the Buyer's Guide, and it helps okay. you identify what kind of stuff you might like. So it runs as a rundown. Like, if you like these types of films, films that you're maybe more aware of, then yep. you're probably going to like these films because we understand that with short films and with independent cinema, maybe you don't know right. who these people are, what the names are, but we try to help you, guide you to like, hey, if you like this kind of content, this right. is the kind of thing oh, you're going to yeah, enjoy. So you're not so, going yeah. in there blind. Yeah, yeah, we don't want you going in blind and angry yeah. when you come out. So yeah. we want you coming into the thing that you're going to have a good time at. Right. So. But there's something That's for everybody. Great. There's no now, doubt. Do you have a project or two in the festival, or you just run, I, the, run the festival? I sort of, yes. I tr we try to be careful with that because right. I, we want to be ethical right. and mindful. So gotcha. there, are, there is a project that I was a producer on. Um, when we go about that process for screening and accepting, yep. uh, I, I step back in a way. I don't tell right. anything to our team. I don't let them know. I just wait for them to judge it first. And okay. based on their ratings, make a decision. And then I will chime in late if Beautiful. needed. But uh, we, I do have a project that I was a producer on. Cool. Yeah. Well, best of luck with the festival. Appreciate it. Thank you. Jacksfilmfest.com? Jacksfilmfest.com. Yes, sir. That's all right. Yeah. Beautiful. Jacksfilmfest.com. Check it out. Get your tickets and support a great event each and every year here in Jacksonville. And, uh, Coach, thanks for being here. Yeah, you got it. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, I guess this is my the thing. <laughs> They're going to be great. So we'll just next more often. <laughs> stay safe out there and be cool and get your Jax Film Festival tickets. We'll see you next time right here on The Horse's Mouth. Cheers. The coach should be going to bed at night thinking about the athlete and how they're going to help that athlete improve. They shouldn't be worrying about how am I going to quantify their improvement or am I going to have to keep up with all this information. Those things that are kind of background to the coach focusing there on the athlete. And so what Dasher does is it takes all those side things away, allowing the coach to focus then on the athlete.